Welcome to my channel, oh, to my channel. Maybe from this video you want to follow or leave a like, you would comment and subscribe. Don't be shy, I'll tell you what I like. Hey guys, it's Julie. I just want to start the video by saying. <laughs> Today we're doing a very fun video. Today we are doing another wig video. I whip my wig back and forth. I whip wig back and forth. I'm top. <laughs> the wig we are going to be trying on today is this one right here. Hold on. Her name is Bella. But a little shade. Like I looked the wig up and I find nothing online. <laughs> So that means somebody at the shop made the wig and was like, hey, can I sell it in your shop? And the lady was like, yeah. But I got this from my local beauty supply, so maybe you'll find it. Let's just get started. We're gonna start off with the wig today. Last time I just did a little reveal, but today we need to like glue it down, all that. So let's just get started. This time I have a wig cap. <laughs> so this is the one we're using today. It looks like this, it says Deluxe. And you see by this picture, right? Let me move it. Sorry about the noise, but you see it, right? I'm thinking, oh, it's dark like this. And then I get. It's okay. We could fix this. Okay. <laughs> but first, let's put it on. So three, two. All right, guys. So the first thing. All right, guys. So the rest of this, I'm going to speed up because I'm not professional yet. And when I get like better at it, I'll show you guys what I do. So this is what the wig is looking like. Let me take her out of the box. I thought the wig was so cool. When I was looking for that um, purple wig, I had saw this wig at one of the beauty supplies by my house. And I was like, wow, I love the colorway. And then I was like, after a while, I was like, hey, let me just get it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is what it looks like. She got, okay, she's a little messy. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so this is the colorway it's like brown then this blonde and then brown inside there are two clips here and then a big clip in the back yeah right here and then it has a, like an adjustable strap like t on both sides it's really helpful because it's very big headed friendly like the last two wigs I've done there were they fit but they weren't like fully big headed friendly but this one just fits nicely and I had the lady at the beauty supply like cut it off basically like this like a little bit left so that all I have to do is just glue you know what I'm saying I'm gonna show you guys what the wig looks like on like just on the head because you can just put it right on if you wanted to but I want to do like the whole shebang so this is what it looks like cue the clip All right guys, this is what it's looking like on. It's glued on and everything. Sorry if my hair is touching the mic and you can hear it. But um, yeah, it's just shoulder length. I don't know exactly how many inches, but it's really cute. I didn't try to do any baby hair. You could definitely just wear it like this and then put your concealer or your foundation here and then just go. Like, it's like pretty good. Just don't lift it, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I put the concealer. I don't know if it, it makes a difference. Do you, do you see a difference? I don't know. But now we're gonna go straight in this because it is straight, but I just want this to be a little more flat. So yeah, I bought this um, curling iron. It's Red by Kiss. And it says a weave and wig styler won't burn or melt, which is what I needed because I've never used a curling iron before. Because guys, I don't want to be that person who's like, I burnt my wig. Worry free curling style, safe for blend synthetic mixed hair, iron safe synthetic wig hair, um, heat resistant, all that stuff. So, and it was $38.49 at my local beauty supply. So 
yes, that's what we're going to be using today to straighten the wig. My favorite part which is the makeup just so many new goodies to show you guys so let's just get started all right guys so now we're gonna switch over to voiceover so what's good what's popping we're gonna start off with a nice base so we're gonna be using the mario Badescu rose rose water spray i said rose water <laughs> rose water spray and we're just gonna be spritzing ourselves all right guys so now we're gonna go on to the nika k hydrate hyaluronic acid serum Basically, my skin has been feeling really dry this winter, so I wanted to try some serums out. I've been hearing a lot about it on YouTube, so we're just going to be applying this all over our face. Okay, so now that our face is nice and refreshed, we're going to go into the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser uh, Primer, and we're going to be applying that all over our face as well. Alright guys, so now onto my favorite part, which is the brows. We're going to be using the Sophie X Revolution Extra Spice Palette. I literally use this every video, and now we're going to be going into the shades Reputation, which is the black, and Brownies, which is the brown. But we also end up going into this other color, which I'll show you right here. This shade is Mulled Wine. Now to carve out the brows, we're going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. So now to prime the eyes, we're going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. Alright guys, so now we're going to be using this brand new palette I got from 5 and Below, guys. Do you see how it looks? And it's from the brand Profusion. Guys, this is like a brand I see in like Target and stuff, but it was only $5. So go to your local 5 and Below and see if you can find it. This is what it looks like on the inside. It shows you like a step-by-step -step on how to do a smoky eye. And these are the colors. It's giving off really fall, wintry vibes. And it comes with this little brush inside. That's like pretty high quality, low key. So now for the crease color, we're gonna be going into this brown shade and also this brown shade. And we're gonna be mixing it and popping it into the crease. All right, guys, so this is how it's coming out. It looks a little ashy on camera, but it's really, like, deep, like, in person. So, it's okay. So, now we're going to be going into that shade right there, and we're going to be popping it on top of the crease. I honestly don't know if you can see that, but to deepen the crease, we're going to be using the black shade. It looks shimmery in the pan, but it's actually pretty dark. Okay, so now we're going to be cutting our crease so to do that we're going to be using the la girl pro concealer in the shade porcelain and cutting that crease into like a round shape so for the first third of the eye we're going to be using this shade right here Alright guys, so we're going to be putting that shade into the middle third of the eye. And also putting this shade on top of it. Alright guys, so for the outer part, we're going to be using this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade. Along with the black to deepen the outer part. Thank you. 
Now we're going to go into the Delancey palette, which is my glittery palette. And we're going to be going into this brown shade right here and making it into like a wing shape on the eye. To outline the glitter wing, we're going to be using the NYX Professional Makeup White Liner. Alright guys, so these are the four options for the inner corner. All of them is popping, but I think I want to go in with this pinky gold one. But honestly, when I went into it, it wasn't that popping. So I'm really sad about that, but it's still cute. So this video is getting pretty long, so I'm just going to speed over all the stuff I use for my base just because I do, I use the same things every video. So I'll be linking everything down in the description bar so you know what I use, but let's just speed this part up. So for the inner corner or like the inner water duct, we're going to be using this Kiss uh, eyeliner in the shade purple. So for lips, we're going to use this pencil I got from the Beauty Supply. It's just a black one and you can find it anywhere. And we're going to be using the e.l.f. lipstick. It looks like this. Uh, I also got it from Five and Below, which is awesome. Like e.l.f. is starting to get pretty expensive. So the fact that I got it for $5. I was like lit. So for lashes, I used this new adhesive from Absolute New York. And guys, I absolutely hated it. Like it, it says fast drying, but it was honestly terrible. Okay, guys, this is the final look. What do you think? What do you think? I think this makes me look really mature. <laughs> like this really all I could say about it like now I'm lucky feeling this bop so I thought why not do a little b-roll moment hit it Baby, it's the bop for me it's the bop for me we see her out there bobbing freely stiff well Woo! stiff well <laughs> that's enough of that <laughs> Alright guys, yeah, this is the final look. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And press that notification bell to be notified every time that I post. That's that gray bell by the subscribe button. And yeah guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!